All right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Today we're gonna we're gonna bleed some brakes. Of course, I'm on a budget. What I got here is a uh, my blade. Well, I'm gonna use that to bleed my brakes. I just put a master cylinder in. Now, my, what do you call it, the flare nut? Well, oh, that's not a flare nut. My flare nut wrench may not quite have been strong enough to unscrew that particular flare nut. So I used uh, the extra, extra thick walled uh, crow's foot flare nut. See how thick those walls are? To get that torque to turn it. This was from Harbor Freight, $13. Now, <coughs> on the back of those uh, brand new master cylinders, I got it from Rock Auto, $40 some dollars. In the back of the old one, there's some kind of rubber, rubber round thing that comes out, and I didn't quite know which was front or back. Well, it was rubber, so I hope it can give if I got it wrong. But for your jobby, take a picture of it so you know which way it goes. Uh, right now I tank that to the top. I'm gonna keep checking on that while I'm draining it over here. Alright, with no further ado, just get myself my flare nut, flare nut wrench. Yeah, it's not oh yeah, there it is, ten. Ten. Oh, and we couldn't, we couldn't uh, live without PB Blaster. And get the little covering off here. Put that in a safe place, like my pocket. Okay, it's a 96 Honda Accord. Oh, wait, is it a Toyota Accord? Or a Subaru Accord? Nope, it's a Honda. All right, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna take that all the way off and put. Uh, yep, Teflon tape on the threads. If it comes off, hopefully it's not too rusty after twenty some odd years of existence. Oh, it came right off. And right, here's the tricky part. How am I going to wind? threads using one hand. Well, let me see if I can get this started. I'm going to put my camera down for a sec. I don't know which way is up or down the way I'm turning that camera, huh? Putting Teflon on here so that when I suction it with my little syringe, I hopefully won't get too many bubbles leaking in through the threads. Alright. Now, if you can see me do that, let me kind of check the camera. Still recording. Okay. 
it starts sucking. Holy cow. This, uh, this stuff has lost its, uh, the brake fluid does a job on this, I guess. Let me grab some, uh, uh, some uh, razor blade here. I'll be back in 60 seconds. See me? Yeah, I got my razor blade. Carry one of these around in my wallet. All right, let's trim this up. Oh, there's the old piece trimmed off. All right, let's try sucking that out. going now? Yeah. Oh, let me check. Did I put my Teflon tape over the hole? On the other wheel, just fine. Maybe if it gets too far out, it don't suck. Now let's get the old wrench out here. Well, let's just turn as far as I can my hand here, see if it sucks. There we go. Well, you gotta get into a sweet spot. Too close, it cuts it off. Too far, it cuts off that little hole. Alright, I'm getting some juice here. Can you see that juice? A little bit brown, not bad. And the goal is, while I'm sucking it out, the Teflon tape prevented air leakage by past the threads. All right, let's dump this and suck out a little bit more. I'm gonna put this in my waste container. Well, what happens to waste? It's all pure when it starts. It's all dirty when it's ended, and then where does it go? Does Mother Nature take care of that? Do I just... Oh. Alright, you get the idea, ladies and gentlemen. And then I gotta go up to the main thing and... Uh, refill it before it goes too low. Alright, there's my El Cheapo, one man, Break, uh, flush, whatever you want to call it. You may be able to do it yourself. I'm able to. You know, I don't know if I got any special powers. Maybe I do. All right. 
think you've seen enough. Let me uh, wipe my hands here. And let you go to sleep. To all a good night.